Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can change clothes or outfit in an image using Stable Diffusion AI. So if you look at the leftmost image, here we have a person wearing a white t-shirt and a dark color uh, trousers. The second image that is at the center, we have changed the t-shirt of the person with the help of Stable Diffusion. And in the third image, we have changed the uh, lower body outfit of the same person. So this is quite possible with the help of stable diffusion in painting model. Okay, that we are going to use in this tutorial and this is uh, Python based. Okay, I'm not going to use any no code tool like comfy UI or automatic 1111. I'm simply going to use Python with diffusers. So diffusers is a library that helps us in accessing all these stable diffusion models and use in painting, out painting and other stuff. So let's get started. So here is the notebook, collab notebook that I'm going to use in this tutorial. So the first task is to install the libraries. The first library is the diffusers library. Okay, so this is the main library that allows us to use different types of stable diffusion models. The second library is the accelerate library that helps in optimizing the performance of the stable diffusion models. Okay, so let me run this cell. It will take a few seconds to install both these libraries. And before running this first cell in this notebook, you have to make sure that you are connected to the GPU instance of Collab. If you want to check whether your runtime is GPU enabled or not, you can simply go to runtime, click on change runtime type, and you can see over here. It is currently at T4 GPU, so that's a GPU instance. If you use CPU, then this tutorial won't work because these stable diffusion models, uh, they cannot be, you know, uh, run on CPU instances. Moving on, our libraries are installed in this Collab Notebook instance. Now here I am importing a few libraries and modules. First is Torch, that is PyTorch. Okay, so this will be used in this tutorial. Then we are using transforms function from torch vision library. Okay, so it will be used to convert tensors to PIL image format. Apart from that, we are also going to use one very important uh, model that is SAM model. Okay, so SAM model simply means segment anything model. With the help of this model, we will be able to select and segment uh, specific objects. For example, in the image that I showed in the beginning of the tutorial, we can select an outfit. For example, we can select the t-shirt of the person. It will be completely segmented in that image. In other words, a mask will be created for that t-shirt and that mask can be used for in painting with the help of stable diffusion model. Okay, so SAM model will be used for that, creating the mask. And then we are importing auto pipeline for in painting. Okay, so this will be used to import the in painting diffusion model. And apart from that, these functions will be used to display the images. So let's run this cell as well. And the next step is to load the input image. All right, so you have to make sure that you have uploaded the image in the collab session and then only you can run this cell. To upload your image in collab session, you can click on this icon, files icon. And over here you can click on upload. Okay, this upload button to upload any file. And I have already uploaded this uh, JPEG file. This is my input image. And I can directly load this image with the help of load image function. So 
so after running that cell here you can see that this is the image that we have loaded in our collapse session and let me also display the size of the image so the width of the image is 640 pixels and the height of the image is 959 pixels next i will import the sam model so this is a special model called slim sam right it's a smaller and faster version of the original sam model so this model i'm going to use in this tutorial and along with the model we also have to import the processor as well okay let me run this so the model is imported the next task is to create a mask image for the t-shirt so here we are going to use the slim sam model to segment the t-shirt or to create the mask for the t-shirt now before running that code to segment the t-shirt we have to figure out how we are going to select the object or select the t-shirt in this image as i have already told you that uh, the size of the image is 640 by 959 pixels so we'll have to select the center point for this t-shirt okay and that would be somewhere around 320 by 600 okay so these are the coordinates of the center point for that t-shirt okay it can be here and there but that's all right so you have to specify this coordinate okay whichever object that you want to segment uh, try to get the center most point and find its coordinates let me run this cell and it will generate a number of masks for the coordinate that you have provided okay so this is done now let's check how many masks are there you can run this code to find the number of masks so as you can see we have three masks okay generated by slim sam model now what i'm going to do i'll one by one display each of these masks so this is the first mask so here you can see the yellow region is the mask region so it seems that this mask is for the entire body and this is of no use for us we are interested in masking only the t-shirt so let's display the second mask uh, this is interesting here we have a complete mask for the t-shirt but we also have a few uh, artifacts over here around the arms of the person as well as around the bracelet of the person let's check the final mask as well all right so i guess this mask is perfect for uh, identifying or in painting the t-shirt of the person so we will use this mask that is the third mask all right Now all these mask uh, images are basically tensors, right? Let me show you over here. So if I run this cell, it will print the tensor. Here you can see it's a tensor and the values are Boolean in nature. So you will have false and true as its values. So false represent the violet region and true represents the uh, yellow region. So since the yellow pixels are less as compared to the violet pixels, so here you'll find uh, less true values in comparison to the false values. Now in order to use this mask image with stable diffusion in painting, we'll have to change its format from tensor to uh, PIL image. Okay. And this is what I'm going to do next. So here I'm creating an object with the help of uh, two PIL image function. Okay. And this object will help me in converting the Boolean tensors into PIL images. 
the next step is to convert the boolean image into binary matrix or binary tensor all right so what will happen it will convert all the false values in this tensor to zero and all the true values to one so in the tensor there will be only two values zero and one and once that is done you can use the last line of the code to convert it into a pil image so i will run this cell and it will convert the tensor into a pil image and this is the mask image or the pil image that we have just uh, extracted from the tensor let me display this image as well so here you can see uh, we have this t-shirt mask and the format is pil image and here you can compare it with the original image so this is the t-shirt and this is the mask for that t-shirt so i think it is pretty accurate and this will work well for the in painting operation the next step is to finally you know import the stable diffusion model for in painting and then use that model to generate a new t-shirt for the same person so here i will import an in painting stable diffusion model and name of the model is uh, rev animated okay so it's a popular model generally used for in painting task so this importing will take a while now let's move on and use the in painting model so here you can see i am using one prompt uh, that is flower print comma t-shirt so basically i want to you know uh, generate a flower print t-shirt for the person and this is the pipeline okay here you can see i am using a few parameters width and height is going to be the dimensions of the output image okay and then i have number of inference steps so this is basically how many uh, instances you want stable diffusion to you know uh, process your image process the output image and then uh, in this parameter i am passing the input image this is the rgb image okay in the next parameter that is mask underscore image uh, we have to pass the mask image okay that we have uh, extracted from the tensor and then here you have guidance scale so this basically means that uh, how much importance you want to give to your prompt okay and finally we have the strength so strength parameters uh it can vary from 0 to 1 right usually in the case of in painting you should use the value of 1 and finally this pipeline is going to generate one single image let me run this so here you can see it will run for 25 steps so image generation is done now i will display the image with the original image since the output dimensions of the generated image is 512 by 678 so i will also resize my original image to the same dimension so that i can display them both parallelly let me run this yeah so here you can see that uh, we have a new t-shirt in the output image that is on the right side and on the left side you have the original input image and if you compare uh, the rest of the region in both the images they are pretty much the same right so this is the benefit of using 
sam model along with in painting you can get this pixel perfect accuracy right you can select any object of your choice and then you know in paint use in painting model to generate a new pattern or use a new texture the same process can be applied to the trousers as well if you want to change that so i hope it was useful and i would like you to you know try it out at your own end you can use collab and it will give you free access to gpu for a certain amount of time and in case if you have any doubts or questions feel free to ask and if you want to follow the text based tutorial for the same uh, task you can check the description uh, i have given a link to my tutorial thank you